Let's move, let's move on away from that and go to Parliament, where Alban Bagwin, the Speaker, has voiced his concerns regarding the challenges encountered by the House as a result of events held at the forecourts of the State House. He pointed out that many of these events pose security threats to lawmakers as they carry out their duties. Speaker Bagwin highlighted these issues during an engagement with the top five schools that participated in the National Public Speaking Competition. On Friday, the Speaker of Parliament, Alban Bagbin, engaged in discussions with students from the top five schools of the National Public Speaking Competition held in December last year, along with its organizers. During this interaction, Bagbin expressed concern over the potential threat posed to the functioning of Parliament by events frequently hosted at the forecourt of the State House. The matter of all institutions is where Parliament And people don't respect it. And that's why we are where we are. I'm sure when you were coming, you were hearing some noise outside. When we are busy doing our work, then there are people outside there giving permission. They can't make noise. By the time we go out, we broke into our cars, stolen things, caused so many confusion. You talk to the executive, it's like, they are deaf and that they don't hear. You know, these are the challenges facing the country that we need to be informing you, the people, to take up. And so you are constrained to be able to function properly. Furthermore, the speaker raised eyebrows regarding the involvement of the International Monetary Fund, IMF, in the collapse of Ghana's economy. It's only a European that can be the head of IMF. No other person. Now we go and put our money there because they brought a rule that every country must have foreign reserves. Mm. So we go and put our money there. It doesn't earn interest. But when we go to borrow, we have to pay interest. So anytime they want to get Ghana to falter and come back to them. They will send their small boys to come and misadvise us. And when we do the wrong things and we collapse, ha ha, you know? That's what they do to us. And so Ghana will be there 17 times for not to our problems. <laughs> eh? So any time we hear World Bank IMF placing the country, Ah, that directly into park property. <laughs> then when you hear that this act, look, your economy collapse. Say this government is doing very well. When you hear I'm the president the government, the government is doing he's just satisfying their interests. And so they say he's doing well. But for us, it's the other way around. Then when we start we say, ah, you collapse your economy. Come, we will advise you to come out of it. Then who we'll give you three billion, like they told us they'll give you three billion. And then they send the technical people. Then you have to pay them for the three billion. At the end of the day, they take about 70 something percent back. They don't give you cash. No, 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 no. They do that only small, small one to add to your budget. But they'll tell you that you need so so and so. It is produced in this country. So we we'll pay the money to them. Additionally, Bagben voiced apprehension about the declining trust in politicians among the general public. No country develops on falsehood. It's a quality of the human being that develops a society. Not only the mental, but the level of integrity. It's very important. This country has been fed so many lies that now you don't even know who to believe. And so when you hear the politician talking, you believe them. <laughs> you say they are the same thing. <laughs> huh? They say, oh, I'll come to your office, I'll do one, two, three. Do you believe it? That's all. And once you are a leader, and the people following you don't believe in you, you can't achieve anything. What well, is not the leader 
that achieve the things or that produces is the followers. What the leader does is to inspire, is to motivate, is to empower the people and they now deliver the goods and services. And they do that in your day. That's the challenge you have. And so when you have leaders who go talking and the people don't believe in whatever they say, and it's not the fault of the people, it's the fault of the person talking. Well, you know, he's just trying to say something and go. At the end of the day, you don't get anything. So a few of us who try to do uh, shows on difference, we really suffer because you sacrifice yourself to achieve what we do. And it's very, very important.